Members of the South African Liberating Public Servants Union abandoned their posts to march to these officers. They braved scorching conditions to raise their grievances with authorities. Mareka January was among the few who joined the six-kilometer walk. January has been in the sector since 2009. The 33-year-old says the job puts their lives at risk. As we face challenges, as we know that there is a huge rate of high um, drugs and some of us we walk around with those medication, then we get robbed because of the boys are smoking them. One of my colleagues nearly got raped the other day when we were taking medication to one of the patients because of they know that we work with very strong drugs. 42-year-old Cecilia Sibudula says the department is failing to manage their resources. So recently the mental hospital was open. They didn't even inform us. We can even go there and help as porters, as cleaners, as clerks, as everything because we've got experience. These union members have threatened to camp outside the offices of the department until their issues are resolved. Let them be paid their attendance check and then be absorbed. That is our demand. I, I won't expect in 14 days that they won't respond because by looking of the Premier, the Premier has an appetite of saying he will respond to the needs of the workers. So now we are giving him a chance, the Premier, to say this is the chance for you, to, as we have said, that you've got an appetite of working, or of responding to the workers' issue. Now it's your chance to prove yourself. The union has vowed to knock on Premier Zamani Sol's door if the department fails to help them. The department has been given two weeks to address all issues raised in the memorandum. Margaret Mutibi, SABC News, Kimberley.